we underestimate how powerful hatred is. Hatred is a passion. It's a force that touches every aspect of our lives. Ravarin Soloveitchik gave a lecture 33 years ago, and he spoke about the passage in the Bible about the two women who come with a dispute to King Solomon, to Shlomo HaMelech. And they are both fighting over who is the real mother of a baby. And one woman says, it's my baby. The other woman says, it's my baby. And Shlomo HaMelech says, let's cut the baby in half. The true mother cries out and says, no, don't cut the baby in half. Let the other woman have it. While the imposter mother says, no, cut the baby in half. Let it not be for me, nor for her. Ravarin Soloveitchik was reading Freud's group psychology and the analysis of the ego. And in it, Freud interprets this passage in the Bible. And he explains that Solomon understood who the true mother was, not from the love of the true mother, but from the envy and hatred of the imposter, who minutes earlier wanted to adopt this baby, but now would rather kill it than give it to the other woman. And Ravarin Soloveitchik related this to his father, who told him, first of all, that this interpretation is already found in the Talmud, in Makot, a good 1600 years before Freud offered the interpretation. And second, he said this was what happens in real life, that his own father, Rav Chaim Soloveitchik, Ravarin Soloveitchik's grandfather, had once ruled against a butcher in the rules of Kashrut, where the loss was substantial. And the butcher was polite and the butcher was respectful. And then he ruled against the butcher in an instance where there was a dispute with someone else. And there the butcher was angry and abusive. And Rav Chaim Soloveitchik explained to his son, and this interpretation was passed on to Ravarin, was that the dispute with the other person is what changed everything. The enormous envy and rivalry and hatred turned him inside out. We are at a point of the year in which we remember the Sinat Chinam, the unnecessary hatred that destroyed the Second Temple. There were factions fighting with each other. There were religious differences, even idealistic differences, between different groups. But this caused enormous hatred. Even when it begins with idealism, it can end up with hatred. And that almost feels like the situation today. If you take a look at Twitter, you take a look at social media, debates turn into personal fights and personal fights end up being filled with hatred. We need to remember never to underestimate hatred.